Hi all, I'm Aneta. Welcome to the second part of the Reduce File Size video. This time we'll focus on pixel-based images. Let's start! These two pictures look identical, but the first one has only been inserted, whereas the other one has also been compressed. The right-hand side picture is more than 140 times smaller. Sounds great, but unfortunately, there is a considerable difference in the quality. However, when you have a lot of pictures and you need to send your file via email or store it online, compression comes in handy. There are two easy ways to reduce the size of a picture in PowerPoint. First, let's select the picture, go to Format, Crop. You can see that the photo has been cropped and the cropped area is still part of the image. How to remove it? Let's choose Compress Pictures. We have two compression options here. By selecting Apply only to this picture, the changes will only be made to the selected photo. Whereas, by choosing Delete Cropped Areas of Pictures, we will remove the invisible area of a cropped photo. The availability of the resolution settings depends on the source. In this case, we can choose among four options. Print, Web, Email and Default Resolution. Default resolution will not affect the picture. We will use the web one as we don't want to print the file and email resolution might be too low. Compression changes are made after closing this dialog box. If you are not satisfied with the results, just press Ctrl Z to undo the changes. You can see now that the cropped part of the picture is gone. By compressing just one image and removing the cropped areas, we have already decreased the file size by 300 kilobytes. This really makes a difference if you have a lot of pictures in your presentation. There is also another way to reduce the size of pictures. Go to File, Options, Advanced, Image Site and Quality section. Discard editing data will delete all cropped areas in the presentation. Do not compress image in file, we'll keep the default resolution. If we uncheck this option, we can set up a new resolution for all pictures. That's it! Thank you very much for watching the second part of the Reduce File Size video and don't forget to subscribe!